and welcome back to my channel and welcome to an ironic video to be filming during a heat wave. I am unboxing an advent calendar and I'm so, so, so excited. If you know anything about me, you will know that there's two things that I love, love to the core of my being. One of them I'm gonna say it, I know it's September, but it's relevant, is Christmas. Christmas brings me more joy than, oh, just, it just fills me with so much joy. And the other thing is bath bombs, particularly lush bath bombs. Lush bath bombs, lush bubble bars, lush any kind of product that goes in my bath, makes it smell amazing, makes it bubbly, makes it funny colors, it makes it glittery, anything that makes my bath experience even funner. I love. So when I saw that Lush were bringing out a bath bomb and bubble bar advent calendar, you know I had to add it to my basket. Now Lush do have a, another advent calendar, which I will link down below as well as this one, that contains more of a variety of their products, but I've never gone for that because I don't really like hard soap, and you do get a couple of those in there, and it just never felt like it was right for me. But this advent calendar that is purely bath bombs, bubble bars, that sort of thing. I, I, I couldn't not, because I'm sure I've said a million times, if only they did a bubble bomb only advent calendar, I would buy it. So when they, you know, came out with it this year, it had to go in my basket. It is called the Christmas Buds Advent Calendar. Now it is £125 and you get 20, do you get 24 or do you get 25? I'm not sure whether we get 24 or 25 products inside, um, but at least I know every single product I'm going to use and love because I've never met a bath bomb or a bubble bar that I haven't loved yet. So I'm so, so excited to get in here and I think the packaging is just so fun. I've tried to do some red and gold eyeshadow to just, you know, Christmas it up for this video, but then since it's 30 degrees outside, I've, you know, I've had to put a summery dress on because I'm oh, it's about to get hot in here now it does come with a little booklet that tells us about all the products inside so I'm going to refer to this to tell me about the products it also tells you in here so I think we should just get on in I'm so excited this has smelled so good it came packaged so well by the way in a huge cardboard box with lots of um the little what are they oh what do they say on here um eco pops so they're non-gm corn starch rather than polystyrene so they kept it very safe during postage and it is available on the website right now I think it's going to sell out personally I think the Lush Advent calendars usually do correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure they do um so I imagine it could do so if you're interested in getting this for yourself or for a very lucky loved one um before Christmas then I would have a look at the link in my description box down below it's too hot to be doing this but let's get on in because I'm so excited so first you get to undo the ribbon oh my god oh my gosh the smell of this oh my goodness right let's get it open I've had to change my filming setup a little bit because it's big oh my gosh look at that the smell the smell is something else so this is the inside it's absolutely beautiful we do actually get 25 doors I've just spotted somewhere in there 25 because there is a little one up here at the top so we get 25 bath products and I'm so 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 excited so I think we should just jump on in and open up door number one I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm uh in case you haven't watched any of my Lush videos before a snow fairy addict so I'm hoping there's going to be some snow fairy in here in fact I'm demanding there be some snow fairy. So yeah, let's get on and open door number one. So door number one is up here. So you just press it in and open up and we find the bath bomb inside. Ooh. So this is what we find in door number one. Let's have a look in the little booklet. So this is called the lump of coal. Oh, it smells quite herbally. So it has citric acid, cinnamon leaf oil, and clove leaf oil, along with Brazilian oil. So I think it's, yeah, I can smell the cloves and the cinnamon. That's a really Christmassy scent. And oh my gosh, it's got little, little uh, smiley faces on the coal. I think that is so, so fun. I've never seen 
this bath bomb before. I do know that there are some bath bombs in here that are exclusive to this advent calendar. So let me just get the information up so I can tell you if something is exclusive because it means you won't be able to get that product anywhere else than this bath um, bomb advent calendar. So this isn't an exclusive one. So you should be able to buy this individually if you are interested in it. So I will make sure to let you know which of the bath bombs are um, exclusive to this. But I just think that's so fun. I really hope it makes the bath water like super black. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, this is behind door number one. Oh my God, that just smells so Christmassy. I am going to try and save these by the way for like of November, beginning of December and probably into January because 20 ba 25 baths is a lot of baths to have. But I have like two baths a week so I will get through them. Okay, so let me find door number two which is over here. Let's open up door number two which is, oh I've just realised they are different sizes. Door number two is a bit of a bigger size so let's open this up. This feels like another bath bomb. This is so cute, it's a little angel. Oh my God, this smells so, so sweet. Let's have a look in our little book. This is another bath bomb, by the way. So this is the Groovy Fairy. Oh my gosh, it's got citric acid, lime oil. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh wow. So I, I had a suspicion, but I just wanted to check because I am quite guilty of saying that anything that smells like sweet is Snow Fairy scented, but this is actually Snow Fairy scented, but it's a huge bath bomb. You could definitely get two baths out of this, but when it comes to a bath bomb, I'm just, I'm quite liberal. I'm like, let me throw it in. But when it comes to a bubble bar, I'm like, let me break it into as many pieces as I can to be economical with this bubble bar. But how cute is she? I absolutely love that. I will use Snow Fairy at any time during the year. It does not have to be Christmas for me to indulge in that sweet candy smelling scent. In fact, I bought a Snow Fairy um, candle that I've been using all through the year. Um, one of the giant ones, I got it in the Christmas sale, so I got it 50% off. So I think I might have to do that again because it's one of my favorite things every time I have a bath to pop that candle on. Right, door number three is the one up here. We have, oh, this is a classic. We have the candy cane. I do have to admit this is collapsing a little bit. I feel like the packaging isn't necessarily the most stable so I think I'm probably gonna have to lie this down because I don't want it to get ruined before we've um, finished filming so let me just fix this and then we'll continue okay I think I've managed to fix it for now but that would be my only criticism so far is that the packaging is just not cut up to holding the weight of all these products like this cardboard piece keeps falling and I've had a few products fall down that I've had to like put back in place so that's one little little comment there this might need to be one that you keep laid flat which isn't ideal when it stands up so beautifully with the with the doors so that's something I'd like to see improved upon next year um when they hopefully do this calendar again um but just hopefully a little bit more structurally sound so back to the candy cane this Oh my gosh, I got this last Christmas and I loved it. This is a bubble bar, so I would break this into maybe two because it is a smaller one um, because then it gives you extra, extra use. So this has mint, bergamot and lemon in it and it's so sweet and minty I love it and just look this is just such a classic lush Christmas product so I'm very excited about that moving on to door number four and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very careful here okay what do we have in here we have oh my goodness we have a penguin how stinking cute is this penguin oh my gosh it's like purple on the back with a big pink bow what is this this is so cute let me read about her she is called the penguin bath bomb oh my gosh and this has bergamot orange flower lemon and mandarin now i love fruity scents but citrus scents oh they really are a favorite of mine that smells so good. <gasps> I'm not gonna wanna use this guy. Like how, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, this is getting me in all of the feels this advent calendar, but like I'm turning multicolored here with all the little bath bombs. Ooh, it's warm in here. Okay, door number five is up here. So we have, be very careful, stay. We have the, this is called gold. Now I can't remember what these are called, but it's basically like a little, squeezy dough type product that you can use in the bath to play with if you have kids or if like you enjoy 
that kind of feeling. Um, but essentially it does turn into bubbles when you pop it under the tap. I'm not going to say these are my favourite products from Lush. I've had it before. I got the Snow Fairy one. Surprise, surprise. Um, and it is fun. But for me, I prefer a traditional bubble bar. But let's see what it says about this. So it has sweet, wild, orange oil, bergamot oil, and I think lemon in this. So let's see if I can smell it through the plastic. It does smell good. Now this is just a little slice because normally it comes in like a sausage shape. Um, but I don't mind because I, like I said, I don't think this is the something that I'm the most excited about. But especially if you have children or if you're gifting this to a child, what a lucky child, they will really enjoy because like you can see, it's a really squishy kind of product. So I'll have some fun, but I wouldn't necessarily purchase that one by myself. Okay, door number six is right underneath door number five. What do we have in here? <gasps> We've got a bubble bar. Oh my gosh. No, please don't fall. Uh, guys, I'm gonna have to lay this down, I think, cause I just, I don't wanna, I wanna be able to show you as I open it, but maybe if we tilt it like that, it's not ideal, but maybe, can you see the products are sort of, or at least these little, bits of packaging are falling down but maybe oh, we'll see how it goes but yeah we do have another bubble bar this is the comforter and again it is a smaller version because I have had this full size quite recently and it is quite a bit bigger so just bear that in mind but if we have a look at how much the doors are worth so it's 125 in total divided by 25 each door is worth five pounds and the full size of this is seven pounds so I don't think that this is necessarily a an advent calendar that you buy for value for money i think you buy it because it's fun there's the exclusive products you get a bath product every day i think this is more about an experience rather than it being one of those advent calendars where you save a load of money so i think that's just something to bear in mind this is a berry scented bubble bar and I love it. It's so fun. I've had this before and I really, really enjoyed it. So although it's a bit smaller, I'm very excited to have it back in my life. Door number seven. Let's see if we can get door number seven out safely. It is one of these ones at the bottom. So we will see. Oh, stay, please, please. Okay, we've got lots of packaging in here, keeping everything safe, which I am glad to see. Oh, I've had this. This is a fun one. Okay, let me just dig in and get it out safely. It's a cow! This is so fun. So basically you put it in the water, it's another bath bomb, and all of these colours that are around the edge like seep out of it and fill the bath with so many fun colours. Let's have a look about this. So this is called Toby's Magic Cow and yeah look you can see a little picture here of what, let me see, can you see all the little um, colours coming out? So this has got orange, patchouli and coconut. Yeah, that smells so good. And I love it when there's like an extra fun element, especially to the bath bombs. Um, so I'm really excited to use this again. I got this last Christmas and it's just so, so, so much fun. Oh, I'm just, you can get, feel the excitement like pulsing out of me as well as the sweat because it is hot. Okay, then on to door number eight. <gasps> is this a snowman? Oh, let me just, oh, try and get it out without damaging it. Oh my gosh, it's a snowman. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Oh my goodness, I've not seen this before. Is this an exclusive? Yes, it is. This is the Snowman Bubble Rune uh, Bubble Bar. Oh my gosh. This has coca and shea in it. And I, this is gonna be super moisturizing. It would break my heart to take his head off, but I think I'd use him in two pieces. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. That's amazing. This might be one of my favorite ones so far. And look at it, look at it. Ah, anything cute just gets me. I am absolutely obsessed. And if you want this, the only place you can sadly get it is in the advent calendar, but Oh my God, that smells amazing. Okay, this is, yeah, oh, I'm having the best, the best time. Door number nine is here. Oh, I've had this before. I know what this one is. This, I think, is the traditional 
snow fairy bubble bar now again it is the miniature size so i do wish that they put the full size products in so that we could get a little bit value for money i think that that could have been relatively easily done so that is a little bit of a shame and um, yeah this is the snow the mini snow fairy roll bubble bar and it smells of snow fairy if you don't know what snow fairy smells like imagine walking in to a sweet shop full of um candy floss machines and just taking it all in that's what this smells like oh my god oh my god i would be happy if this was half filled with snow fairy products so i'm really excited to have another snow fairy scented item number 10 is right below number nine <gasps> she's sparkly oh my goodness look at this it's a glittery sparkly gingerbread man with lots of colors i think this is going to be another one of the bath bombs like the cow that spreads the colors oh my goodness this smells amazing uh let's see about this little fella so this is called the catch me if you can bath bomb and this has ginger coca lime and orange in and i'm just trying to see if there's a picture there isn't a picture of it being used but i could imagine looking at the side that this blue and yellow is gonna like seep out of the edges and just be so much fun oh you smell amazing but I, I nothing compares to that snowman like that is my favorite thing so far but look how gold my fingers are wow <laughs> Right, next up we have number 11. Okay, so number 11 is another one of these little squidgy squidgy things. It's called Blue. It has, what's it got in it? Lavender oil and chamomile. Okay, so this is gonna be more of a, a soothing, sleepy kind of scent. And again, it is fun, but it isn't It isn't for me. I wish it was just, you know, bath bombs and bubble bars. Um, but I can understand that they're trying to cater to a, wi a wide range of audience. So like I said, I think kids would particularly love those. Um, but yeah, not my favorite of the products that they have. So door number 12, <gasps> again, this is another product that I have had and loved. In fact, I used this recently, but again, it is a mini. I have a feeling that all the bubble bars are gonna be minis, which is a shame, um, but I'm not gonna keep saying it because I've said it a few times now. So this is the Rainbow Bubble Bar. Sorry, I just keep referring back to my phone so that I can make sure I tell you all the information. This has lemon, benzoin, benzoin B-E-N-Z, I O I N. It's apparently a soothing and comforting fragrance. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. I could still get two uses out of this, whereas with a full bubble bar, I can usually get three or four. So you still get a really good amount of use. And like, look, this looks so fun. Okay, let's have a look at door number 13. And we're over halfway. I honestly could just do this forever. I never want this to end, but you know, we've still got over half to go. Let's have a look. I think we've got another snowman. Look at him. Oh my gosh, with this little blue bubble hat. This is, oh, can you imagine just dropping him and seeing him fizz around? So this is the snowy bath bomb. And this has lavender, lemongrass and bergamot. Again, it's gonna be one of those more relaxing bath bombs. So I think, again, this would be a really good one to have at night when I just wanna like, let the world go, have a breather, have a relax, have a soak. Oh my gosh, look, look at him. Oh my goodness, he is so, so cute. I'm glad to see that the bath bombs are of a good size. In fact, I think they are normal sized, so that is good to see. Now we have door number 14, which is up here. Uh, mm, I've said everything that I need to say about these products. They're not my favorite, but we've had a few now. This is the third one. So this is, let's have a look. This is Sunset Fun. It is an exclusive, uh, <laughs> the heat's getting to me. It's an exclusive product to this advent calendar. Oh, it's citrus scented, isn't it? Mandarin and bergamot. That smells so, so good. I do love the smell. It's just as I keep saying, not my favorite. Okay, now we have door number 15. This is a big one, so I'm hoping for a good door down here. Oh, this feels huge. Wow, okay, being very careful to get this one out. It's a sand 
Victor, look at him. He's a huge bath bomb. They are not skimping out on the bath bombs at all. So let's see what this is. This is the chocolate Santa bath bomb and it's exclusive to this calendar. Chocolate it smells of chocolate. I have never had a chocolate scented bath bomb before. What? So it has cocoa, a vanilla and aloe. So it's going to be really hydrating and moisturizing for the skin. And I feel like there's got to be a little surprise in here. There's got to be some colors or some something sneakily hiding inside this little guy. Don't you think? <gasps> he, I'm interested to use this. I'll have to report back in the comments, but oh my gosh, he smells amazing so cute look at him and he's got his little little sack on the back i absolutely love that okay door number 16 is up here oh this is a cult classic product for lush this is the sleepy bubble bar let's see what it says but i'm sure if i remember rightly from the various times that i've had this it's got like lavender and things like that let's have a little see um the ingredients are as i said lavender and again it's that benzoin benz i can't b e z b n z o i n <laughs> and tonka and ylang ylang so it's a really really relaxing scent so again this is a good one to have before going to bed as the name says and i just love the mixture of the pink and purple and blue like i think this is so aesthetically pleasing um so yeah i'm really excited i used this again not long ago so i'm glad to have another one then we are on to door 17 up here oh lush lush stop giving me these we've got another squidgy dough product this is bronze and i do believe that yes this is exclusive um does it tell me anything about the scent so it's clove and ylang ylang i've got four of these now so i'm not i've said i've said what i've said i've said what i've said <laughs> door number 18 is down here look it's a teddy bear oh, how cute i feel like the color of this and the smell of this is screaming lavender to me but we all know how bad my scent is so this is the butter bear bath bomb this has got cocoa and ylang ylang does it have lavender there's no lavender okay I just got, you know, um, pulled in by the colour and thought, if it's purple, it's got to have lavender. But how cute is this little guy with his hat? Oh my gosh. See, I, I would probably break this in two, you know? I think, you, you don't be afraid of doing that. Like, make the most of the money that you spend. That's so nice. That's so nice. Okay. Door 19 is just above. What do we have in here? Really don't want to see any more of the doughs. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. And he's got like a really fun back. Oh my gosh, that smells. Oh, I'm gonna, I've got so much lush up my nose. Oh my gosh, this is, let's have a little look. This is the Snow Dragon Bath Bomb. And it is, it's citrus. That's what I could smell. So it has salt, ylang, ylang and grapefruit. That's what it was. You can really, really, really smell the grapefruit. But how fun is he? Does he do anything special? Oh, yeah. So these little, um, like, bits on the top, they look a bit like gems, um, do let off colours. So you'll have some purple coming off the blue bath bomb. Oh, my gosh. That might be one of my favourites. I love that so, so much. Like, I've got so much, so much lush dust on my fingers. Number 20. Oh, we're nearing the end. I don't want it to end. Number 20 is right here no no oh we have another one of these so they're called fun i've just realized they all say fun on them so i think that they're called fun this is in glow worm which i'm guessing is going to glow in the dark but it's kind of melted um so i'm not sure what's happened there it is hot but like it doesn't say to store in the fridge or anything like that so i would hope that it would be okay um so yeah it says squish this into any form you like when charged with light it will glow in the dark you can use it for a body wash hair wash or use it as a bubble to make bubbles so yeah i'm not sure why it's um <laughs> a little bit melty there this is an exclusive to this advent calendar let's see what it says the scent is so it's got lemongrass and bergamot um so yeah that's super fun it's a nice little twist on it but 
it's, it's a bit it's a bit melted and it is the fifth of the fun fun does <laughs> okay so moving on to 21 down here we have an angel if i can get her out safely yes i can and she's covered in gold look at her she's so pretty she belongs on the top of the tree not that i have a tree up yet come on guys like don't i'm obsessed with christmas but it is still september <laughs> let's have a look at what this says so this is an exclusive product it's the snow angel bath melt i think this is the first bath melt that we've had actually um so you just put it in the bath and let it float across the water and it'll soften as it goes and release its goodness into the water so it has cocoa again benzene benzoin that that word that i can't read and rose see i'm not the biggest fan of rose but I'm not getting too much rose from this at all it's not my favorite of the scents to be honest but I just think how fun is that and yeah the bottom of it is the melt and the top of it is a bath bomb I do have let me see if I can show you another melt product so this is the melt i don't know if this is a newer product to lush but i hadn't come across them until recently um but not not necessarily the one that came in the advent calendar because that does have bath bomb in it as well but these ones that come in like a little tablet you can either use them in the bath and they turn into like a bath oil type product or you can use them in an oil burner like you can see here it says you can put it in the oil burner so oh, oh my god oh, i need to use more of this i love it so much um but yeah i just thought i'd show you what that looks like door 22 is right here at the top oh this is a fun one we've got i don't know if it's called the unicorn horn but it just makes me think of a unicorn horn let's see what it's officially called it is called the unicorn horn <laughs> and it is a bubble bar this is full size this is the size that the unicorn and bubble bar normally is oh she smells amazing so this does have lavender and it also has neroli and ylang ylang love it and how fun how fun does this look like my bathroom is going to look amazing with all of these products door 23 is up here <gasps> sleepy bear i know this one look at him he reminds me of where is he the little dragon so they've both got like colorful bits on the top of them um except sleepy bear is obviously a bear this is well known and loved from the lush christmas collection so i'm glad to see that he's back so he has lavender that word that I can't say, and tonka and oat. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good Sleepy Bear smells. And look at the little lavender that's gonna come out and give you like a purpley delightfulness in the bath. So, so fun. Day 24, second to last door. Oh, I don't want it to end. That's the problem with these advent calendars. I never want them to end. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, it's huge. <gasps> Guys! look at this it's a reindeer bubble bubble bar oh my gosh what are you you are so stinking cute this is the reindeer bubble bar as you would expect let's have a look um so this has almond and again that word that i just cannot say i do love the smell and taste of almonds actually marzipan is one of my favorite things at christmas i could literally just eat marzipan um but yeah this is i think this might be one of the cutest alongside i can't get over my little snowman like look at them next to each other i am i'm having the best time the best time and we are sadly sadly onto the last door door number 25 christmas day obviously we get the santa bath bomb this makes perfect perfect sense for christmas day look at him in all his glory so again this is one of those bath bombs where it's got the colors that like seep out let me tell you about the magical santa bath bomb which i got last year and had the best time he smells insane so this has lemon in and he's so fresh and so up my nose right now but how fun is this bath bomb guys i cannot believe look at the state of my hands i can't believe that this is over already i had so 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 much fun i have a few thoughts as you've heard as we've gone through my first thought is i loved this i will be buying this again if they do purely a bath product um advent calendar just because for me I know there were some highs and lows but overall i loved it and you know i just love the bath products from lush what i would hope to see next year 
is none of these. And if you are going to include them, maybe two, not five. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you agree. Or if you're a big fan of this product and you're so happy to see it, let me know. And obviously, I would prefer that the bubble bars be full size, but I'm not going to expect that. Like I, I, like I said, it's not a, an advent calendar about saving money and getting a great deal. So whilst I obviously wish they were full size, I'm not going to expect to see that change. But what has to, has to has to change is the packaging so now everything's out i can just show you look it's just a piece of cardboard that is slotted so with the weight on on these little platforms and all of these little bits like you can see the platforms are just slotted as well so structurally it's not the best and i've had to slot this back in place a few times like it's not glued in place at all it probably means that it's really easily recyclable recyclable um which is great but i do think that it needs to be structurally sound because if you're going to have this stood up for a month and you're going to take a product out every day especially if you've got kids that are, are doing this it needs to be a little bit more structurally sound the design i love the colors I love I love the shape of it I wouldn't change any of that although I would because I'd like to see it look different like you don't want it to look the same year on year but I think they just need to get the packaging a little bit better but overall I'm so excited and I cannot wait to use my little snowman he smells so so good my room just smells amazing so I cannot wait to hear what you guys think in the comments about this advent calendar and let me know what your favorite product from the calendar was and if you're going to pick it up let me know that as well thank you so 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 much for watching if you want me to unbox the full lush advent calendar do let me know because I am tempted. I am really tempted. I'm the biggest Lush fan. It would make sense to treat myself to it. I work hard. I deserve to treat myself right. And if you guys want to see it, it gives me an extra excuse. But yeah, just let me know. I'm going to go and get in front of a fan right now because it is 30 degrees right now. And before anyone outside of the UK says, that's not that hot, we don't have air conditioning. So it is sweltering. But thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to go and put all my bath products away for December and I'll see you next time. Bye.